Hello there, thanks for tuning in. In this video I'm just going to quickly talk about peat balls. Uh, many of you probably already know that I manufacture basically little balls of peat to put in aquariums to replicate South American conditions. So in this video I'm just going to quickly talk about what makes the peat so special. Firstly the peat's from way down in an old peat bog, thousands of years old. Just above the bedrock, full of tannins, basically all the concentrated stuff when the rain lands on top of the peat, it washes all through the layers of peat. It all concentrates in this bottom layer. That's where I get the peat from. And that makes it pretty special. Standard aquarium peat is dried, comes straight off the top. It's got very little goodness in it. As far as reducing the pH, releasing loads of goodness into the water, it just doesn't do the job. These peat balls do the job and they do it very well. They're now available in three different sizes. There's the small, for 20 litres, 25 litres maybe. Medium, 50 to 60 litres. And large, 75 to 100 litres. Depends on conditions with all of these. And those conditions are, ideally, a sand base, not gravel. Most gravels will buffer the pH way up above where South American fish will be happy. If you try peat balls or any chemical treatments, natural or otherwise, the chances are gravel will prohibit those from working. So choose sand. Avoid rocks. Most rocks will again raise the pH um, and that isn't a good thing. And if you think of even a pretty big peat ball like that, it doesn't weigh much compared to maybe a fist size rock. The rock is going to overpower the peat and any other treatment that you put in. So, aquarium sand in the bottom, no rocks. Not only does it look nicer than gravel, but that sets you up for a nice stable low pH when you're using peat balls. So how did they come about? Well, about two years ago, I was up at the quarry where I get the stone from for my landscaping jobs and I noticed that this particular layer of peat right down in the peat bed that the the quarry had been digging away it, it looked almost like soft licorice um, so I was intrigued by that because most peat you see is quite dry and fibrous this wasn't at all very soft and pliable so I think these were the first size that I made these are the medium size I thought I'll get a pair of tights, make a ball shape out of this lovely peat, feed it into the tights, secure it top and bottom with a cable tie, stick it in our tanks in the shop, which is Tyne Valley Aquatics, and see what the fish think of it. Luckily nothing died, in fact everything prospered. The pH in the tanks dropped to about 6.5. These are I think the 55 litre tanks, and bear in mind I was using the medium ball for that, so hence that's where I get one medium ball per 50 to 60 litres from. We had sand in the bottom, a little bit of old bog wood which is well past its best. Put the peat ball in, dropped the pH to approximately 6.5, but most importantly it kept it there. And that's the key. If you want success with South American fish, not only do you need a low pH, but you need a stable pH. These fellas lower it and they keep it there and that's the main thing most chemical treatments will lower it and then it'll come back up again and then you need to put more chemicals in these will stay in the tank for months we've got them in the shop and they have to have been in for a year and they're still keeping the tank at 6.5 that's without squeezing them you see all that muck coming off there that's all tannins all goodness coming out of the peat and even without squeezing it that will continue to leach out for months in your tank. These small balls are quite often favoured by breeders because they have small breeding tanks. Basically just drop one of these in, sets the pH, releases a lot of goodness into the water, which is good for the plants as well as the fish, and the fish that are intended to be bred seem to respond really well. I know in our shop and also in some of the videos that I see on YouTube of people who have used these balls, the colours of the fish are very good. So if you think you can make your own peat balls, you'll need access to the peat. Here I'm going to show you just how difficult that is to get. 
So this is where the peat comes from. This is a good six foot deep bed of peat. That's the bedrock there. And this is where I take the peat from. And as you can see, that's wonderfully black, slimy peat. Full of tannins, humic acid, and all the good stuff that'll benefit a South American tank. I have to get it from a working quarry because if I just chose to dig from the top of there, once I got 18 inches, two feet down, the hole would fill with water and I would be unable to get to that point where the good peat is. I've actually seen it mentioned on forums, oh, I made my own peat balls, I just bought ordinary aquarium peat, totally different stuff. That is not ordinary aquarium peat. And that vehicle behind me, the big digger there, that's what you're gonna need if you're gonna get down to that level of peat. Whilst most people would use the peat balls in their tank, and to be honest, that's probably the best place for them because if the pH does creep up for whatever reason, maybe it's after water change, you can reach in, give them a squeeze, sort the pH out. Some people have, in fact, used them in external filters. And whilst that does reduce the life of the peat ball because water is being forced through them 24-7, it does increase their efficiency. So the average size ball, the medium one, which I would say would be suitable for 50 to 60 litres under ordinary circumstances, would treat 100, 150 litres, depending on circumstances, if it was in an external filter. So that's something to bear in mind, that don't always have to go in the tank. If you've got any of the following fish, peat balls will no doubt benefit them. Discus, angels, dwarf cichlids, loaches, rasboras, danios, fighting fish, basically any fish that likes a lower pH. Or if you have problems with your pH and you want it lower, these fellas might be just the job. So, we do these various size balls in packs of five on eBay. Check the link below in the video description. I also supply worldwide. If you check in the payments and shipping tab, or payments and postage tab if you're in the UK, you can find out how much multiple packs are to send to anywhere in the world. If you're a shop and you're interested in stocking these peat balls, just let me know. Details again. In the description below this video, I've also put my number on there if you want to get in touch with me along with my email address. And if you buy in bulk, you'll get a discount.